What do you want to do with the day? Just poke your tongue out and look cute. Something I've noticed myself gravitate towards more knitting wise um, is smaller, smaller um, knitting projects, which makes a lot of sense because last year I didn't really do a lot, like I didn't complete a lot of knitting because I was working on big, massive, long-term projects. Um, whereas now I've just kind of been like cranking through a bunch of small ones. Um, and it feels good just to like get, you know, some things that are quick and snappy, like this baby sweater um, for a coworker of mine. Uh, she um, invited me to her baby shower. And so I said, I'll knit you a sweater. What colors do you want? And she said pink and purple, um, which is perfect because I had a pink yarn and a purple yarn in my stash. Um, before I get really into this sweater that I made, um, I also want to point out another theme that I'm noticing, not just the small knits, but... Um, I'm also gravita gravitating towards projects that are using the stuff I already have, um, which seems like a no-brainer, but I've been going through my stash and realizing that there, like, while there are some yarns that I'm kind of saving as, like, you know, kind of like just-in-case yarns, or, like, one day if I see a pattern, I'll know, like, oh, I have a yarn that would go perfectly with that, that kind of thing, um, but a lot of yarns, I just didn't use, I've never used, I don't think I will use. Um, I kind of de-stashed to uh, my knitting club. Um, they really appreciated that. Like I said, this uh, yarn already came from my stash and the rest of my other projects that I'm kind of working on um, are also stash projects, so it's so great. Um, but this is uh, the Bluebird Pine Jumper um, without any of the fancy like cabling um, that is on the front uh, in the pattern. Um, I chose this because for me, it's a really easy to follow baby sweater pattern. It fits babies pretty well. Um, and I really like uh, the width, like it really does have a big, um, you know, collar, neck, hole opening. Cause babies have big honking heads. I even did a bind off that is super stretchy so that like, you can fit a lot of baby in this sweater. Um, but the yarn, it's it looks like this is kind of a self-striping color changing yarn. It's not, I picked two and I've been alternating the two of them. And um, I went with um, some yarn that I got at the previous Yarn Shop Pop. Um, the dyer is called Lady Dye Yarns. Um, dye spelled D-Y-E. And uh, in the colors, um, I think the light pink is De La Croix and the purple is uh, Secret of Simon or the other way around. But I want to bring this up a little closer. Um, it's, you know, a very light, subtle pink. Um, excuse me, sir.
Um, and the pink is just more or less a solid light pink um, with just some slight like color variation, but really within the same theme. Whereas the purple, um, again, similarly, it's very subtle. I'm pretty sure it has that light pink as its base because it does have a lot of that same color pink um, with some, you know, lavenders and mauve shades just gently, you know, alternating throughout it. Um, I'll try to keep talking while he's doing an excavation project over there. Um, but yeah, so real simple, real easy. Um, and I used a, um, a method that um, one of my dear friends sent me on Instagram for, um, it's sort of like a version, it's like the cheater's Russian join um, to not have to weave in your ends afterwards. Um, which is amazing. I still have to weave in some ends, um, and then I also have to snip off all the loose ends from everything else, um, but otherwise this is all done and complete, and I actually had a lot of the same yarn left over afterwards, so I am knitting, um, like a mommy and me cowl to go with it, um, instead of, uh, you know, normal, um, so exact same yarns, um, exact same like striping pattern but instead of your typical rib stitch at the bottom I'm gonna bring it really close it is uh like a two color rib not a two color brioche um but yeah it's the purple is the pearl stitches and the pink is the knit stitches and I even um to really emphasize the v's um about every other row or so I would slip all those um pink stitches just so that they got stretched out a little more um it looks really cool and I had you know real fun time experimenting with that but it does curl up a lot so hopefully when I block it it won't um I won't you know curl nearly as often but for being such you know a wide circle it's really knit very fast um and I have no anxiety or um fear that it won't get done before the baby shower which is in like two weeks so I'm already like halfway done and I've really only been working on it for like three days so uh we're cruising on this one the last time I went to my knitting club um, several of us, it just so happened, were either working on sweater vests or were, you know, preparing to work on some sweater vests. And so we decided, like, informally, it kind of was a joke, but I kind of want to roll with it, um, about, you know, joking about all of us, um, knitting sweater vests and then wearing them to the upcoming yarn shop hop. We do it every year, not the sweater vest part, but we all go together, um, we carpool and visit as many yarn shops as we can in a single day and uh I think it'd be really fun if we all were just kind of like the sweater vest gang um and so and like I kind of was you know had it in my mind um like oh yeah I could knit a sweater vest and then and then I was going through my queue or it might have been through my queue I might have just stumbled upon it I have no idea but I found this magnificent pattern I can't think of the name right now. It'll be on the screen. It'll be in my description. Um, and I have the perfect yarn for it. It was a yarn that I got at the previous yarn shop hop. Um, I got one skein at one store and then I loved it so much. I got one more skein of the same yarn at a different store, but it wasn't like a sweater quantity. And I was thinking that this year for the yarn shop hop, I would go and get myself a sweater quantity, but I think that it the colors would just suit the pattern so well. And I think it would go with a lot of the clothes that I have. So that's already a win. And it's using the yarn that I already have. How great is that?
So we started here and I thought that we were going on this trail. But it turns out we're all the way over here. So instead of going all the way back on the old trail, I think we'll explore this yellow one and see where it takes us.